Welcome back, hackers, the Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Last time, we made a daring escape from the Alice Garden pods when Ty Young Medical and Bell Tower decided they wanted to get their hands on Windmill. This time, we're following some leads for Malik about her friend, Evelyn Carmichael's untimely end. And that's brought us to the Lim Clinic. But of course, we gotta handle the important things first, right, folks? More Praxis kits. And of course, there's Cyber Boost Pro Energy Jars, which replenish three batteries if we had three. Hypo stems, Typhoon ammo, all great things. You're very welcome, sir. Really wish I could punch you and get back my 10, <laughs> 10 Gs, but it's fine. And this guy right here is our lead that Malik has hired to actually get the autopsy report for her. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. And we'll go ahead and use the professional approach, because we don't want to fuck up this thing for Malik, right? Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Okay. Now, if it wasn't apparent, this guy is a reference to 4chan and to the anonymous hacking group. Or non-group, depending on how you think about it. It's sort of his thing that he does. It's going to become even more apparent when we see his email address. It's kind of silly. Wait for it. There we go. So we'll head around the corner, just like he told us to do. Over here. Where? On now. Where? Where are you? Oh, there you are, right in front of my face. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, though not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for... I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use, because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. 1,000 credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't know if that was the arranged price, but sure, you've done us a good service. And what were you just saying about corruption? A deal is a deal. Surely your handlers informed you of this little detail. Nope. No, my handlers failed to mention this little detail. It, never mind. Just take your money. This report better be worth it. Oh, I assure you it is. Whoever it was that didn't want this information given to the proper authorities paid a lot of money to have it ignored. A pity for them, limb policy strictly prohibits deletion of records concerning operational procedures. For legal purposes, you see. Legal, right. Nice doing business with you, X. Now, if we want our thousand V-Bucks back, we could actually knock him out right here or kill him. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. Like I said before, he's done us a terrific service. Thank you, Anonymous X. All right, so let's look at this autopsy here, folks. You're going to know some discrepancies between the last thing we read from, uh, from Pod 009 and this. Like, first off, Lee said that Evelyn had been drinking with him. But as you can see right here, blood ethanol level, none. Also no drugs. Another thing that's interesting is... Evelyn was in the early stages of pregnancy. Well, isn't that interesting? Also, his email address, anonymousx at smashthestatechan.net. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get something. 
I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. You got it, Malik. We also picked up another pocket secretary, apparently a mini storage code door. Or door code. <laughs> oh, there's the door. Nice thing about these trains in Hangsha, this is our first time taking them, they show up just as you do. They're very, very convenient. All right, let's get out of here. And of course, go up to his apartment. It's actually pretty close to the, uh, the court gardens that we've been to so many times before. No more, uh, no more experience closets, darn it. Is that one? Let's see. I, yeah, there's something up here we want to check out, though. We got a ladder. And on the other side of this fence over here, we'll find something very nice. Another ammunition count upgrade. Our pistol back home is going to be so happy when it sees what we brought it. I don't think there's anything else back here, but I could be wrong. Nope. Take the quick way down. Guy doesn't even flinch. <laughs> like I said before, it's just so routine. Don't stay here, Lawai. This city is very dangerous, especially lower. Too many groups fighting for control. That's not a big deal. I like the. I like the print on your shirt too. All right, let's check out what's down here. A very creepy little basement, full of things. I was gonna say, I can't open those cabinets. I'm not exactly sure what the hell these things are. It looks like something you'd use the old floppy disk, if you even know what floppy disks are. We have a little safe here. Let's go ahead and crack this thing wide open. It's not too hard. It's only a security level one. Although at least their red node is protected, right? Oh my goodness, the red node, it detected our presence. He knows it's Christmas. Access granted. All right, what else you got for me? It's got some credits for us, about 404. Not bad. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get up to his apartment. It's actually not too far away. You'll remember this set of scaffolds. We've actually used it to climb up here once at least. And we're right outside the gardens again. See? So we'll run around here. Get down off this, and around here, whoop. Ran out of gas. There we go. We'll find Lee's apartment right around the corner here. It's actually tucked in here. Gotta hack something else, oh my goodness. I think this one's only a one two, isn't it? Oh, it's a three, holy shit, it's huge. I can get to that red. I can get to that red easy. I was gonna say it detects me on the first note, right? Nope. Not on the first note, on the second note, third note? No! It is completely unaware of the present. Access granted. Good. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. The game is going to keep giving us little hints that there's more in here, Jensen. You should keep looking. It's kind of nice. Hey, Lee, baby. Can't wait to see you today. The Hive? I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. I'm sure there's still more to find. Yep, thank you, Jensen. Master Player 69. Alright, let's take a look at this system. Even zoomed out, I can't get it all in view. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this one the hard way. Oh boy. Don't you find me on the first note, that'd be rude. It's good, good. Still hasn't detected the presence. Good. Go ahead and grab that. 
and that. Access I didn't even know I was there. We also got 100 XP. That's great. Let's see what we got here. We got some financial reports from uh, the family's recent investments in Lim. A quarterly report. Okay. And of course we have one from his dad. Do not disgrace us. My son, your behavior as of late has been disgraceful. Up until now, I've done everything in my power to support and protect you. But my patience is running thin. If you do not change your embarrassing lifestyle, I will have no choice but to remove you from both the company and the family. Meaning no more financial support or immunity. You dishonor us all with your whole mongering. Regards, Fala. P.S. Your mother as well, but she is disappointed. I suggest you apologize to her and send flowers. Malik, looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money... The Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. <laughs> there could be more. Just a heads up there, player. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think... If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. No, I no, we'll not just yet. We're gonna go ahead and hack into another building, because there's one nearby I'd like to get into. This one is most assuredly big people. We can't get in there, so we'll just go the long way. We're almost definitely going to get seen on this five note. I think it's 55%. Yep, there it goes. Oh my goodness. It's going to catch up with us. Access oh, it was so close. What do we got in here? We got an ebook. It's a scholar ebook. Talks about invasive brain interfaces, which were, of course, pioneered in the, in the 90s, but first envisioned in the 60s and 70s. Again, I don't feel like rain tonight. Also, more credits. More credits. Great. More Mahjong money. And a little save. Do you have more money? I'd like more money. Alright. Can't get to the red note on this little bastard either. Ah, damn it. You found the presents. Stop finding those presents. Alright. That should be it. Access there we granted. go. Got 620 V-Bucks. And there's some sniper ammo in here, but you know what? I'm good. I don't need your sniper ammo. Alright, now we've done that, we need to get to the hive. And try to track down Lee, because apparently that's where he is. And I've been going the long way to this stupid place, so I'm going to do it the fast way this time. Or at least a faster way. I was going all the way over there. You don't actually have to go that far. But remember the stun gun darts I found there. You can actually just fall right down here. I don't think there's anything behind us. There is There is this. What's in here? Let's check it out together. There has been a lot of these I've just walked past because they don't have a lot of good stuff in them. Well, there's the red node, but it's on the other side of creation. I guess I'll go here first because I don't have a choice. Then here. There you go. And I think we'll just cut through the data stores and try to like go like this. Should be fine. Oh no, it's angry! It's gonna take a thousand hours to get to us. Because it's such a weak system. 17 seconds remain until detection. Or in, at least until we get booted. There we go, we got some points for it. That's good. A reload speed upgrade. Sweet! You can always use more upgrades. Another entrance to the sewers. I was gonna say... Hmm, is there anything else? I think that's all here. Alright, Hive, you should be right there. Alright, and if I remember correctly, Lee is on the top floor somewhere. 
I'm sure Bobby is still laying Madeline, down. I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Whoa, Frank. Find Lee and talk yep. to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. Well, that's good. Here's Lee right here. What you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's off. I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck do you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh, yeah? And why's that? All right, so this is essentially a quiz to make sure you've been paying attention to everything that we've read. So, and actually heard too, is inconclusive. Because the police report revealed inconclusive blood spatter analysis. Meaning the wound that killed Evelyn happened before she ever fell down those stairs. Yeah, and? <laughs> that still don't prove shit. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. Yeah, he said she was drunk. Not clumsy or drugged. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident. And the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? Well, he didn't use his fist. He didn't use that baseball bat. He used the clock. By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? Well, she didn't say that she was gonna threaten the family. She wasn't breaking up. She was pregnant. She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Whose silence did they buy? Well, they didn't do the police. They didn't do Bell Tower. They kind of have investments in Lim, and they kept the autopsy buried. Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day, and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee, but only for a price. All right, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her. I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What, what about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. 
Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. It's right behind me. Well, there he goes, like I know. We'll go ahead and hack this. This one's fairly complex, too, if you want to get all the cubes. Well, actually, there's only one. So you could kind of, like, go here first, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Well, actually, no, we do have to go both ways. Never mind, I'm dumb. Go ahead and go there and there. Uh-oh. I found the presents. Go ahead and spam it. Go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and grab that. Gotta okay, go all these crazy ways to get this freaking thing. Oh no, eight seconds. Will it be enough? Access yes. Granted. And of course, we've got 3,000 V-Bucks. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Okay. It's like I know it's gonna happen. We're gonna go see her in front, and then we'll see what Shanghai Street Justice is all about. Is she gonna break his legs? We'll find out soon enough. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was gonna use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you gonna do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Okay. Are you facing the hive? Mm -hmm. It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. Malik, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. So there you go. That is Shanghai Street Justice and the end of the fourth side quest of this area. Speaking of which, I need to get the second one completed too. So we're going to go ahead and run to the fourth floor of this. I think we'll take this path this time because I think it's slightly faster. Also, experience closet. Oh, I see. Huh, weird. I'm getting different dialogue than I did when I was just playing around earlier. Oh, well. There's a really just weird... <laughs> weird line. It was kind of hilarious. I wanted to share it with you folks, but it's just not going to happen. Oh, well. We'll talk to, uh, to May. Has Chen been taken off. care of? Yes, actually, quite a while ago. Like, maybe several hours ago. I planted the drugs and left him unconscious in his apartment. Your friend should have no trouble with the arrest. I will contact him immediately. Thank you. Just glad I could help. You saved us, Mr. Jensen. Money does not feel like enough thanks for what you have done. But here's the payment promised. I hope you will be satisfied with it. Two Gs. Not too bad. We have 13 all together. Not too bad at all. So our next stop, since we have all of our side quests done, as you can see, is we have to go to Taeyong Med uh, Medical via the employee shuttle. The employee shuttle, if I remember correctly, is right next to Lim. I don't know what the fastest way there is going to be. Probably down here. That was an interesting looking fall. Let's see. Is it going to be through here? Let's look at the map. I usually don't have to look at this, even though this place is fairly complex. Looks like taking a left and going by the hive is going to be the fastest. So we'll go ahead and go that route. I think this is going to be like this for the rest of the game, folks. So that's good. They'll never figure out what the hell Malik did to this damn thing. Anything cool down here? Oh, 
Well, there's a... There is a little shutter that needs to be opened. Maybe it has cool stuff in it. Oh, good. I can actually grab the red node. You found me at 15%. God damn it, game. It's having such a hard time just getting through this five node. Oh my god, it made it a six node. We're gonna have to worry. Oh my god, eight seconds remaining. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god. That was close. Let's see. Anything cool in here? Oh, what's this? Crossbow tranquilizer. Ooh, I can actually put that on a thing. And since I have so many practice points, I have eight right now. <laughs> Let's buy another arm. There we go. Another arm upgrade. Make it so I can hold more stuff. And we'll go ahead and slap this humongous upgrade. This one's six squares, for crying out loud. We'll put that on this. I don't really need it on there, but now I have it. Does it look any different? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I think the, uh, the scope on it looks different. Okay, well that's cool. Actually, don't remember getting that in the past, but now we got it. Got an entrance down the sewer. Nothing behind the dumpster. Oh well. Mm -hmm. We'll head through this little pack. This little package. It's a passage. Oh come on! I know I can jump up there. I'm gonna do it. There we go. Is there anything up here? I don't remember. You'd figure they'd hide something up there, but I guess not. Pop. All right, limb clinic should be right around here. Yep, here we go. And there is the Tai Young Medical Shuttle Station. So next time, folks, we're heading to our fourth real mission. I know this episode's slightly shorter, but I'm sure you'll deal with it. Next time, tons of action.